Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors and we are reviewing today the JJRC H2 quadcopter. Now, if you look on my hand really closely and we zoom in, you can see that this is the newest world's smallest quadcopter. No, I'm just joking, it's not in my hand. Uh, but it is in Abby's hand right there. It is extremely small. I've seen a few pictures online of this compared to the Cheerson CX-10 and it clearly is a good bit smaller, but uh, the dimensions that I've seen online compared to the Cheerson CX-10 don't seem to match up, but this is definitely smaller than that. And you, uh, you'd be surprised to know that it's smaller than the Proto X as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is officially the world's smallest quadcopter now. If we hold it up to, and we'll get a close shot for you, a quarter, which is very hard to see I'm sure from there. Uh, it is the, the body bigger. of it, it, it is the size of a quarter and the, it's like having arms sticking out with props from mm -hmm. a quarter flying. That is how small this is. Uh, now you might think something so small would struggle to get shipped to your house in one piece because it's so tiny and so delicate, but I gotta say, geek buying, where we got ours, is uh, they've done a great job shipping this thing. And I have to point that out before we move on to the review. It was still shipped DHL, yeah. but they made sure it was protected inside the DHL bag. Uh, first of all, it came in the DHL bag. Then we got a nice, completely taped up cardboard box here. Within, within the taped up cardboard box, the uh, box. JJRCH2 came in another box, a white little box here. You t undo the tape and you pop that open. And then inside is this sweet little case, like a nice display box with flames on the side. And that just sits right in there? Yeah, I think you may have it backwards. Oh. It's a little right there. And, then and, and it can actually clip back in there whenever you want for like travel or something. And um, I totally recommend keeping this box, this little display case, because you can set it up just like that. And it's and a hard plastic case. It's really not nice. cardboard. And uh, the top shell is hard plastic. That's just so, so cool. So anyways, we liked that. Oh, loved it. And then it, inside, uh, you, you don't just get the, the quadcopter, of course. You get a transmitter packed mm -hmm. in there nicely. I feel like it's a better material. It almost feels rubbery just a little bit. Don't you think so? A little bit, yeah. And so it's easier to hold on to. It doesn't feel like really cheap plastic. You get, believe it or not, you get four spare propellers for this little guy. I mm -hmm. uh, recommend holding on to those because they are tiny. If you did lose any, they'd be hard, uh, to, find. hard to find. <laughs> and then a, a fairly good instruction manual that's in multi multi languages, multiple languages there. And um, it, it was a bit useful, but I still had to figure most of this out on my own. Uh, but let's go ahead and start talking about the quadcopter because it's really cool. My family came over to visit and I got to fly it for them. Did you say the charger? Yeah, the charger. Uh, the charge cable is actually quite nice. It's a USB charge cable, full size USB to a small uh, power plug that I've had on a couple other vehicles. So this is actually a nice uh, charge cable I'll hold on to. Works um, really well, good connection to the RC. Then there's a little kind of a little bit awkward uh, charge port on the bottom of the quad. It looks awkward when you pick it up because there's something sticking out of the quad, but I don't think they could have done a better job getting that in there with a with a really nice power switch on the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, the landing gear keeps it clear of that, so not to worry about, not to worry about it at all. It's a really nice setup. Family came over and I showed them this. I said, hey, I have the world's newest, smallest quadcopter. And my dad was just, you know, oh, it's so cool. He, he loved it. I, my brother got to fly it. My dad got to fly it. We zipped it around the room. They had never flown it before, but they have flown quadcopters and just flew it with ease. Everybody had a lot of fun with it. It takes about a half hour to charge off of your computer, maybe a little faster if you're plugging it into the wall, uh, you know, an AC adapter. You think USB. only half hour? Yeah, it charged quickly. Hmm. And you get about a four and a half to five minute flight time. If you're doing a lot of flips and things, you're gonna get close to four and a half minutes. And if you're just barely hovering around the room, you could probably pull five to five and a half minutes of flight time. It does have one LED on the front of the quad. It's a nice red LED. The way it shows through is almost like a, like a strip yeah. that's trying to, I know, let it calibrate there. Maybe because it's low. There, it did it. 
Uh, it's kind of hard hard to see from here. I'm sure I'll get a close shot for you. Uh, it's a it's like a stripe, like a strip of light going through. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So I like I like how that looks a lot. And then you've got the light shining through on the bottom. It also tells you, you know, you've got flashing light and solid light to tell you when the quad has it's it's got a low voltage indicator. But also when it's got its bearings before it takes off, it has to like calibrate itself. Mm -hmm. So it flashes before it calibrates and then you get a solid light for you when you take off. So the light is more than just aesthetics. It is uh, very useful to have on there too. It tells you a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. The quad flies extremely well. You would think with the props being like so close together, so small mm -hmm. that it would struggle to even lift off, but it flies just as well as like the Proto X did and any other really small mini micro super tiny quadcopter it's so cool you could fly this in like a coat closet it's so small <laughs> and feel like you're flying in a football stadium but it does advertise headless mode and return to home yes. kind of thing and those don't really work very well we couldn't in our experience. i couldn't get it to work that's right um let me tell them how it is supposed to work your transmitter has the trim functionality and that does work really well. You're supposed to trim it when it's landed, but the power is on. And then when you're flying, one of those trim buttons is the headless mode and then the other, uh, one of the others is a return home feature. And I could not get those to work mid flight. I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but I couldn't get those to work. But the trim functionality worked, the flipping function worked and it worked really well. You press the right stick down like a button and then you give it whichever direction you want it to do a flip and it does a nice fast yeah. tight flip. It does a good job doing that. And it has three different flight modes, uh, just easy, medium, and advanced. One beep, two beeps, or three beeps to tell you which flight uh, mode you're in. And there is a very big significant difference uh, when you're in those different flight modes. The difference from beginner to advanced is fairly extreme. On beginner, I felt like full stick would just barely, barely move it. Um, and advanced, I could get tons of tilt out of it and really zip around the room. It's really cool because it has the design where you can see inside the quad. It is cool. And then you can see that pretty much the body of the quad is a battery inside. Yeah. Like that's all that's in there. It's just a battery. You're just a flying battery. It's crazy. There's some, there's a board and stuff that you can kind of see if you take the sticker off underneath. But it's basically a flying battery. Yeah, it's so cool. Pretty funny. I like the shell on there. Now, if if that shell wasn't on there, I don't know if it's proprietary or not. Like if it's mandatory that you have to have that shell on. But if it wasn't on there, I'll bet you could almost double the flight times. So I'm not going to take mine off because I don't want to break it. Cause it's really small and I don't really want to, you know, risk breaking it. But uh, it'd be cool if one of you guys bought this and you tried taking it really off. have a really small screwdriver. Yeah. Really There's some, we got some viewers that I know could do this. I know <laughs> they could. We got some geniuses that watch our channel. Uh, okay, so if you do want to buy this, this is a really nice present for somebody. If it's a birthday present, little kids. Uh, and Adults. Old, old men, 80 years old, 100 years old. As long as you can see this, uh, yeah. you, should, you should get this. Or get it for yourself. These things, this is awesome. It really is. I love how tiny it is and it performs extremely well. Except the two little extra functions. So when you Jeez buy up. this, kind of buy it knowing that it's just going to fly like a regular quadcopter yeah. and have a good ability to do flips, but nothing else really. She nailed it. Yeah. Headless mode and return to home for us didn't work at all. Yeah. So anyways, we got this from geekbuying.com and the price ranges on the website based on what type of promotion they're running. Yeah. Um, right now it's like $20, but sometimes we've looked on it and it's about $25. However, if you look in our description box, yeah. we have a link that you can click on it to take you directly to this quad to buy it. And there's also an $8 promo code. Yes. So take advantage of that because you could get this from anywhere from $12 to like $17 and that is incredible. Also, just so you know, honestly, we are not making a dime for doing this review or for having that promo code, but we did talk to a, a representative for Geek Buying and uh, tried to work something out to where we could get our viewers a promo discount code. Uh, they just want to see how much traffic goes to them. Uh, again, we don't make a dime from that. No. 
If you're not subscribed to our channel, be sure to at least stop by and check out a few more videos because we do giveaways and we do reviews of quads, trucks, and planes, and all kinds of fun things all the time. We are doing a giveaway. Uh, we're giving away a really cool little nano hexagon at the end of July. Yeah, that's the Re Rebel Control right. Hexagon Hexacopter. Yeah, and we did a review of this on our channel too, so check that out. But if you, if you haven't heard, we are giving one of these away at the end of July, which means you probably just have a day or two left uh, by the time this is released. Yeah, so all you have to do is go to facebook.com forward slash RC Sailors, post a picture as a comment, not a message, as a comment of a, a picture of your favorite RC, tell us why it's your favorite RC, and that's all you have to do to be entered. And we'll pick the winner at the end of July. Yes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. See you guys. These things are so cool. This is awesome. Look how small that is. Oh, you just popped. My shoulder just popped. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.